Yo, what up gang? In today's video, we're gonna be talking about 25 mistakes in SpongeBob season two. It's gonna be a ton of fun. By the way though, make sure to pay attention as a secret code is going to pop up on screen that you can use to join our shout out giveaway if you wanna get shouted out in a video. Anyways though, let's get into these mistakes. Let's go baby. Our first mistake can be found in the fantastic episode Squidville, and takes place when Squidward visits the grocery store full of health. So as you can see in this shot, to the left of full health, there are a bunch of houses facing the grocery store, but they're in the distance and they even appear to be on a completely different street. Remember this as it's really important, as when Squidward leaves full of health, the geography has completely changed, and now there are houses directly beside it and they are now on the same street and are facing a different direction. Rough. Another mistake can be found during Squidward's four-man quartet, as look, our boy Squidward is randomly wearing a white t-shirt. Like right before this, he's wearing the brown shirt, and then boom, he's now wearing a white one. I mean, he either switched his drip up really quick, or this was just a small mistake. I think it was a mistake. Here's some clips. Intensive. Hmm, I'll bet they won't have... <gasps> wow, they have it! Canned bread! I would really be impressed if it had an interpretive dance academy! A clarinet trio! Our next episode is Band Geeks, probably one of the most iconic Spongebob episodes of all time. I mean, remember that awesome ending performance with everyone rocking out? What a classic Spongebob moment. As classic as it is though, the scene has two mistakes. Now watch closely. As you can see in this shot, Mr. Krabs is shredding on his keytar, and it's very clearly purple, or like a pinkish color, but it's purplish pink, right? As you can see. Well, remember this, as during this quick panning shot, his keytar has magically changed to a green one. Oh, also, you know how Pearl always has this P on her shirt? It's a part of her design? Well, in a few scenes of Band Geeks, wait, it's gone. Where did it go? Now I have some even crazier mistakes coming up that you won't believe. But for now, here's some clips of the mistakes I just mentioned with audio. You took my one chance at happiness and crushed it. Crushed it into little tiny bite-sized pieces. I really had expected better of you people. I guess I'm a loser for that too. Don't bother showing up tomorrow. We've seen a lot of rude people throughout Spongebob history, but one of the worst is Kevin C. Cucumber from the season 2 episode, I'm Your Biggest Fanatic. Now the mistake in this episode happens really fast and it's really easy to miss, so watch closely, okay? But after Kevin's crown gets stung, this anchovy's missing his eyes. They're just gone, like his, his pupils have disappeared. It's very funny and looks really weird. Here's a clip. Am I in the jelly spotters now? No! I have many more tests for you to take. Am I in the jelly spotters now? No. Am I in the jelly spotters now? No. Now? No. Now? No. Now? No! Up next is an episode that any longtime SpongeBob fan knows about, and that is the classic episode Bubble Buddy. This episode is awesome, and I have so many fond memories of it, especially the scene where everyone quite literally wants to kill Bubble Buddy and pop him with pins. It's very sad and honestly pretty aggressive for a kid's show. But more importantly, this section of the episode has two mistakes. For one, as Incidental 40 is tweaking out over the washroom, he loses his mouth for a frame. Looks really weird, but hey, that's what he gets for yelling at my boy SpongeBob. 
The other mistake is a little more complicated, but when Incidental 4 is complaining about the line, we see Don the Whale right beside him, right here. But literally seconds later, and I mean the next shot, he's now beside Larry, randomly. He could have moved, but I mean then he would have lost his place in line. So yeah, another mistake. Peanuts! Ice cold drinks! Hours is long enough! That's it! Hey, Bubble Buddy, you're finished! He kept us waiting for a bubble? That's nothing! He called us fat! Another iconic Season 2 episode is The Secret Box, an episode all about SpongeBob learning about a mysterious box owned by Patrick and pretty much obsessing over finding out what could be inside, like Spongebob is tweaking in this episode. A season 2 classic that I loved as a kid. But what I don't love are these sneaky mistakes. For one, during this scene when Spongebob is sneaking into Patrick's house, something is missing. That's right, where the heck is Squidward's house? It's just gone. Another mistake can also be found during this shot, as look, Patrick is missing his mouth. It's gone. I hope he gets it back. Here's a clip. Patrick won't know, and I'll have my own little secret. Good idea, eh, Gary? Mm. No. Oh, what do you know? You're a snail. see inside my secret box, it would change your life. It's okay, Patrick. I know all about secrets. One of my favorite Season 2 episodes is Frankendoodle, a very chaotic episode that introduced us to one of Spongebob's most notorious villains. I'm talking about Doodlebob. Like, seriously, this guy beats the living heck out of Spongebob and Patrick throughout the episode, and he does not hold back one bit. He even traps the duo in a ditch at one point. And guess what? This is where we can find the first mistake. So as you can see, Spongebob has his belt on, and we can see part of it on the left side, like this little piece right here, it's really important. But when Patrick, who is very dazed, says his lines, that part of Spongebob's belt on the left side is now just gone. Not a huge mistake, but I've got a better one. At the beginning, as you can see, Spongebob and Patrick are playing with bubbles, and there are containers of bubble fluid. But literally seconds later, when the pencil crashes into Bikini Bottom, the bubble fluid containers are just gone. Again, not a crazy mistake, but stay tuned as the next couple of mistakes are wild. You do not want to miss them. created this monster, and I've got to stop him. <clears throat> see what I mean, Patrick? Where's the leak, ma'am? Patrick, how come you always do paper? SpongeBob and Patrick are pretty good guys, right? You know, they don't really commit too much crimes, that is, until the episode Life of Crime, where they steal a balloon and think that they're criminals, so much so that they literally flee Bikini Bottom. It's hilarious. Now the first mistake in this episode is during this scene. So as you can see, Patrick has chocolate all over his face from his chocolate bar, but when he starts freaking out, there's one frame where the chocolate on his face is gone, but then it reappears in the next shot. Really weird error. Person. I should have expected this after the way you stole that balloon. Did I, Patrick? Did I? Or did your criminal mind hypnotize me to steal it? <gasps> the episode Welcome to the Chum Bucket is a fairly underrated season 2 episode that isn't talked about all that much, 
But hey, it has lots of really cool moments, but more importantly, two cheeky mistakes. Now the first has to do with the chum bucket, and for once, it isn't that the path is missing. Longtime viewers of Grapple know exactly what I'm talking about, and for once, this episode gets this right, as you can see in this shot. But what we can also see is that the chum bucket randomly has a logo on its side. This is 100% a mistake, and to make things worse, the font is the wrong color. Normally, the chum bucket looks like this, but in this episode, it looks like this. The other mistake is at the ending of the episode, as look. For some reason, the Krusty Krab has a help wanted sign, when SpongeBob was already hired in the first ever episode, so I assume the animators just reused a shot from the first episode, Help Wanted, but yeah, here's a clip of both mistakes with audio. This kitchen's not the same without you. It's just a greasy spoon. I mean, I'm working all day for free. My treat. That's what I thought you said. And last but not least, our final mistake can be found in the episode Dumped. Now, in this episode, Gary decides that he likes hanging out with Patrick a bit more than Spongebob. And this really affects Spongebob, understandably so, like his pet would rather hang out with his friend instead of him. Now, the mistake happens really, really fast. But when Spongebob carries Gary away from Patrick, take a look at Spongebob's sleeve, as it's green when it's supposed to be white. That looks really weird. Now I'm going to show a clip of this mistake with audio, but before I do, shout out to the Grapple Gang, all of you guys watching this video right now, and an even bigger shout out to the Premier Gang, anybody who's here at the Premier right now in chat, yo yo yo, say something. But yeah, I really appreciate all of the support guys, seriously. And if you're new, make sure to subscribe as I'll be responding to the comments of all subscribers on this video. So if you're subscribed and you comment, I'll respond for sure within 24 hours of the video going up. So yeah. Just make sure you're subscribed. Anyways, though, I love you guys, and I'll see you tomorrow with some more SpongeBob content. Have an amazing day. Okay, that's it, mister. You are coming home with me right this instant. <laughs> Say goodbye to Patrick, Gary. Hold it right there, Dad, Mom, Angry Pants. What's that supposed to mean? I don't know. But I do know Gary knows who he wants to go with. Now I suggest you put him down and let him choose. Fine, but I would like to remind him who it was.